Again tonight with breaking news of a fatal accident on I-65 southbound near Finley Boulevard. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. Birmingham police tell us three people are dead. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle is live there at that scene. Stefan, what do you see? Well, Sherry, we just got a breaking news update from Birmingham police. They tell us that a child has just been transported to Children's Hospital. But again, uh, as you guys mentioned, uh, the awful news here right behind me as police are still canvassing this scene. Three people dead from a uh, tractor trailer involved accident. Two tractor trailers and a passenger vehicle. If you take a look at the video we shot just moments ago, you'll see kind of the ferocity of this scene here backing up traffic for miles. Uh, we're here at the 16th Street exit off of a uh, mile marker 268. And uh, as we were driving here to the scene, I 65 southbound is literally a ghost town. You saw no traffic at all. Uh, but once we got here, uh, you, you, you could see why uh, as they are just still processing the scene, removing those bodies here. We have a, a sheet that's up uh, being held up by two different fire trucks here. Now, as we come back out to a live picture, you'll notice that there's traffic uh, that is, is waiting to move. It's gonna, not going to move anytime soon. That traffic is backed up for miles, literally. Uh, on the ALDOTS website, they even have uh, a map showing where people can kind of divert uh, to avoid all of this. But so many people use this interstate, obviously, to come from Tennessee to travel through uh, Birmingham here. So obviously a lot of hold up here on a Monday night. But again, the unfortunate news, three people are dead after a passenger vehicle collided with two tractor trailers. How it all happened, who's at fault, we have no idea right now. As I mentioned, uh, a child has been transported to Children's Hospital. And of course, as we learn more updates, we'll be sure to update you here on air and online and on our mobile app. We're live in Birmingham. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.